Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. Today's video is somewhat related to a video I recently posted about my Stuart Weitzman McKenzie Chelsea boots. So just to show you very quickly again, these are the boots. Um, they are very low in height, maybe about an inch because of the sole. It is a rubber sole has an elastic opening so it's easy to get in and out of. I did decide to keep them. Haven't worn them out yet, but I will. Um, they feel very comfortable when I try them on at home and just thought I would sh shortly, um, very quickly report back on my decision to keep them. So in that video I mentioned, uh, of course I showed these boots in detail, and I also mentioned another pair of boots that I really love, which are the Everlane Day Boots. These have been worn for quite a number of years now, maybe two years. Uh, they are in the color Smoke, and I wear size seven, which is the same as this size. And you can see here, the bottom has been very worn and, and loved. Um, I would say these have held up quite well. So in this video, I just wanted to show a quick, uh, like not really a comparison, but just show how these are more casual that I would wear for every day, you know, going out. And these can be very casual as well, and they can also be dressed up. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about these boots today, just to show how I'm trying to curate my boot collection to narrow it down to things that I can really wear all the time that can fit multiple purposes. So I've been trying to get rid of my older boots uh, that are a little less comfortable, um, and really try to narrow it down and curate them to a smaller collection. So these are my latest pair that I decided to keep and they are quite heavy. Remember, I, I, I weighed them. It's about a pound per shoe. Uh, I have my trusty scale here, so I'll show how much these boots weigh, but I wanted to show a little bit more about these boots first. I think a lot of people have done reviews on these Everlane Day boots and I won't harp on it too much, but I just wanted to share why I like them so much and I really think they are worth it for even the price is a little bit pricey. I bought these at full price and I typically don't really buy things full price because there are so many deals out there all the time, especially Black Friday, all these different holiday events that have sales. Um, I try to take advantage of it, but I went into the local Hermes, sorry, <laughs> Everlane, what a Freudian slip that was. Uh, Everlane Boutique in the city in Soho and I decided to try these on and they literally fit like a glove. Uh, probably why they call it the day the day boot because they have um, the day glove and they really do fit like a glove. So I really loved the first of all the color. It It is a very beautiful neutral gray and I find that it can fit a lot of match a lot of things that I wear in my wardrobe. They are very buttery soft. You can see it's it's not um, hard at all. It's very soft, so they really do mold to your feet. Uh, and the I like the the trim. Actually, it's a light color trim. I was a little worried about it, but it's had, it has held up quite well. The block heel is a good height. It's a, probably about like two inches, so they are very comfortable for the height. And even two inches is not a big deal for a lot of women, but for me, I really haven't worn heels in a long time and I don't really think I can anymore. So I can really wear these every day, all day, and they're really comfortable. I don't feel tired after I wear them. So that's really a, con a pro for me. Um, the bottom, you know, like I showed before is, it is pretty well worn, but I think it's held up quite well. I didn't put any um, extra, you know, soles on the bottom. The only con I could think of, I guess, is that in New York, when it, the weather gets very cold um, and it starts snowing, these are not really snow boots, of course, right? The, the bottom can be slippery. It's not good for any kind of snowy, slushy type of weather, but I have boots for that. And those can probably work, uh, but I also have uh, other boots that are really for heavy snow kind of weather. Um, so for about having these for about two years, they have held up quite well. You can see there's a crease here because obviously when you walk, the shoe kind of bends like this. It is very soft, so that's probably why. Um, I haven't, you know, scuffed it a little bit here, but that's kind of expected. I'll try to show it a little bit closer up. 
kind of expected because these are very soft. I'm surprised I haven't really scuffed the tip, but maybe because it's a rounder toe, I did scuff it a little bit over here. Sorry, my nail is a little dirty. <laughs> um, so it, it has um, worn very well over time. What else can I say about this? Um, so the the opening here is is very flexible. Like I said, it doesn't dig into any part of your ankle, which I really like about it. And of course, the zipper closure helps. I just noticed that a little bit of the leather here, like the color has come off, which I really didn't notice at all because when you're wearing the shoe, I mean, I'm, I usually wear pants, so these would cover the top of the shoe. It has a little bit over here, the the leather has, the coloring has come off, but honestly, that's like natural wear and tear of the shoe. So I would say they are pretty true to size, and I will show another pair. I loved these so much that I got a another pair of the day boot in the color black. So here's the black pair. These are newer. I've only started wearing them this season, so you can see the difference in terms of the creasing. It's not you know, creased as bad. Um, it's starting to a little bit, but I've only worn it maybe 10 times so far. Um, the bottom is black. Sorry, it's so dirty. The The bottom is pure black. I did get these in a seven and a half. And only reason is because these were on sale. I think they were for $99. Um, it was marked down significantly. And typically when markdowns happen like that, <clears throat> my size is a pretty common size. So it does sell out pretty quickly and I figured seven and a half, seven, not a huge difference. So I gave it a shot and um, tried it on when it came to me. And it, I mean, there is a little bit of room, but not so much room that the shoe would fall off, if you know what I mean. I typically don't like to settle for a different size, but these were very comparable. I'll show you very quickly here, so. Um, when I go heel to heel, right here, the heel is, you know, pretty much the same size. And when I go heel to heel and then tip to tip, you can see the difference is so minor. It's probably like a couple centimeters, if at all, you see. So I decided because of that, it's worth keeping. It, it was really comparable and the leather of these kind of stretched out. So I, I'm sure these will stretch out as well, but you know, I, I wear socks inside, so it's not like they will fall off. So I, I liked them so much that I was willing to accept a different size. And uh, the black was, you know, a very universal color and of course can go with everything. So let's do, take it a step further and try to weigh these shoes. So I have my scale, which you've seen in many of my videos already. So when I weigh these, they are definitely lighter than the Stuart Weitzman boots. So together they are one pound, 2.8 ounces. Okay, sorry, the, the reflection may be giving me some pops right here. One pound, 2.8 ounces. So they are, probably definitely much lighter than the Stuart Weissman shoe. So if I just weigh one shoe, it's 9.2 ounces versus one shoe of the Stuart Weitzman. Sorry, it locks and then I have to wait for it to reset or this is a quicker way. So that was 9.2 and this is one pound, one, one, point, uh, one pound, one ounce. So it gives you an idea of about the weight, but obviously it's because of the sole. Okay, so let's actually do a comparison of the length of the shoe with the Stuart Weitzman, if you find it useful. Now, it's funny, right? Like just when you look at the shoe itself, it looks like a completely different size. Um, and I know it's because the sole here is uh, bigger than the actual shoe itself. So I'm going to try and measure it like a little bit um, closer to the back of the boot to the front. You can see these, although they're both size seven, isn't that funny? These are the Everlane boots are 
the, the, the aesthetic looks even smaller and uh, more form-fitting than the Stuart Weitzman boot. Of course, they are very different in terms of the style, you know, the occasion that you would wear it, but it goes to show you different brands, different sizes, it, it can really vary. But just to give you a quick side-by-side, -side, like that. So these fit to the size for me, and so do these. So it's kind of funny. But I, I like these, again, because it's so slimming to the foot. Um, and it really molds to your feet, very comfortable, lightweight, and a very good like everyday boot that you can wear going out, going to work, and everything like that. So hopefully this helps, it gives you an idea, and I just thought I would share my thoughts on it and uh, you know reasons why I love these so much. And I did notice actually on the Everlane website today that the day boots are on sale. However, sizes are very limited. They marked these down to, I think, um, $79, which I was like, oh, maybe I should buy another pair because I love these so much. I wouldn't mind having a backup, but unfortunately, my size in the seven or seven and a half are not available anymore. So maybe if you have a, a smaller foot or a larger foot, you may be able to jump on these and get these for a good deal. So I may try to actually stock the website a little bit more and see if these come back in stock for my size at the discounted price and if so I would definitely buy another pair probably in this color because I have a lot of black shoes already so that's it for me thank you again for supporting my channel and watching I've noticed that now I have 11 subscribers yay it's you know been over a month or so almost two months since I started this journey and I hope you find these videos useful and helpful. I, I want to share, you know, what brings me joy and what works for me and just show some close-ups about some products that maybe are not as detailed in YouTube or, or other reviews. So please share, like, and subscribe. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful new year and um, have a great 2022 up ahead. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.